Okay, question number eight. For the first part, express root of six cos of theta plus root of ten sine of theta in the form r cos theta minus alpha, where r is greater than zero and zero is less than alpha, less than 90 degrees. Give the value of alpha correct to two decimal places. Okay, for the second part, hence in each of the following cases, find the positive angle theta, um, which satisfies the equation root of 6 cos theta plus root of 10 sine theta is equal to minus 4. And for part B, so root of 6 cos of half theta plus root of 10 sine of half theta is equal to 3. Okay, so for the first part, we're going to be using the double angle formula. Cos of A minus B is equal to cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. So here, first of all, we're going to have to put this in the form of R cos of theta minus alpha. Okay, so how are we going to do this one? First, we're going to have to find R. So R is equal to the root of root of 6 to the square plus root of 10 to the square. And that's going to give us root of 16, which is 4. Now, for the second part, um, we can use this formula, which is a little very long procedure, but we can also say that tan of alpha is going to be um, sine of alpha over cos of alpha. So I'm going to say sine of alpha over cos of alpha. <coughs> and what is sine of alpha? I have sine root of 10. Okay, because if you look at alpha, sine alpha here, and uh, there's a way of doing this, maybe you can do it like this. Um, you can say cos of theta minus alpha is equal to um, cos of theta, all right, cos of alpha minus, uh, if it's minus, becomes plus sine of theta sine of alpha. Then you're going to compare root of 6 cos of theta. Okay, cos of theta root of 6. So this, this goes out here. Cos of theta is equal to root of 6. So what we have is cos of uh, theta is equal to root of 6. And then similarly plus root 10 sine alpha sine alpha uh, times the root of 10 sine alpha goes out sine alpha is equal to root 10 so sine alpha is equal to root 10 in other words we're saying root 10 over root of 6 that's going to give you 1.29099 and so on and if you work it out in your calculator the inverse of tan of the angle is going to give you 52.2387 and so on Therefore, alpha is 52.2 degrees. Hence, if we have to put in that form, we're going to have, say, 4 cos of alpha minus 52 decimal 2 degrees. Here we are for the first part. For the second part of this question, uh, we have part A of the question that tells us that the root of 6 cos alpha plus root of 10 sine alpha is equal to minus 4. Now, this is the same as this, therefore it is equal to this. The equiv equivalent of that is going to be this one. So all of that here can be said to be 4 cos of alpha minus 52.2 degrees is equal to minus 4. That, that goes out becomes minus 1, and therefore I have theta minus 52 decimal 2, all right, degrees is equal to inverse cos of minus 1. And inverse cos of minus 1 is 180 degrees. So I've got 180 degrees. And uh, so where do we go from here? So maybe I can say theta is equal to this plus 52 decimal 2 degrees. Theta is equal to um, 180 plus 52 decimal 2, 232.2, 232 decimal 2 degrees 
you have to one small place. This is your answer for the first part of of for the part A of second part. Part B of the question we have to do root of six cos of half alpha plus root of ten um, sine of half alpha and that's gonna be three. Therefore um, all of that here is the equivalent again of that but instead of alpha we're going to be saying half alpha so I'm going to say 4 cos of half alpha minus 52 decimal 2 degrees is equal to 3 3 divided by 4 is 0 0.75 therefore I've got half alpha minus 52 decimal 2 is equal to inverse uh, inverse cos of 3 over 4 and inverse cos of 3 over 4 is 41.41 so I'm going to say half is equal to minus 52.2 is equal to plus or minus 41.41 I'm going to take minus because the value is from uh, 0 to 90 degrees okay so between 0 and 90 I can take the negative one so I'm going to end up with half alpha it's about to negative 41.41 plus 52.2 so 52.2 minus 4.1 10.79 and alpha is equal to the 2 is divided here, you sum on the other side becomes multiplied so you multiply this by 2 and you're going to end up with 21.58 in other words we're saying alpha is equal to 21.6 degrees which is between 0 and 90 now this is question number 8 taken from October 2010, A-Level Maths, HSC, Paper 3. Okay.